Kalenda. Mr. Kalenda, you had a uh, court judgment of uh, $50 that you haven't paid. Uh, well, all my all my money goes on my son here, but my honor, here, and I I get my I get I get my, I get my pension once a month. I am I am I am a single parent here. This is this is your son. Yeah. What's his name? Anthony. Anthony, you like your daddy, Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. You send in your father broke. He said he says he spends all his money on you. Uh, you must have some pretty expensive clothes, huh? No. What's he spending on? Food? You eat a lot? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> you want to be a judge? You want to be a judge someday? I don't want to be a judge, but I want to be a part of the FBI or something like you that. You want to be in the FBI? Yeah, something right, like that. All right, come up here. I'm going to let you be an FBI guy. Come up here. Come up. All right, someday you want to be an FBI agent, is that right? Yeah. You know, to be an FBI agent, you know, you have to graduate from college and be a lawyer. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. So you, yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you're going to be an FBI agent, you have to start saying yes, sir, no, sir, right? Yes, sir. Unless you're speaking to a woman, and then you say what? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you got it. He's good. Okay. Your grandfather said he hasn't paid his court judgment of $50. Because your, now your grandfather, your father, he said he hasn't paid his court judgment of fifty dollars because you're sending him broke. He spends all his money on you. What do you now? If you were a prosecutor, how would you handle that? He has at least fifty dollars. Fifty dollars in his bank account. Does he have fifty bucks in his bank account? Yeah. He does. He only gets like a hundred dollars a week. This guy's not helping you. He's he's with the he's with the court. Yeah, I know. He's a law and order guy. Okay, now, here's the deal. Your father owes $50, and since then he got another ticket parking at a parking meter. So he owes a total of $75. So what do you want to say about that, Mr. Kalender? You owe 75 bucks. Can you pay it today? No, I can't pay that today. You can't pay it? No. Come up here. Get over there. Get next to the mic. Excuse me, I'm his sister, and I'll give him a check. Do you know him? My brother. He's your brother? Mm. Did you know your sister was here today? Yes. We came oh. together. Oh, oh, you guys came in the car. We had double cut. trouble. <laughs> You're a lucky guy. You have your son here, right, that's supporting you, and that is morally supporting you, saying that you're a great father. Right? And you have your sister who's willing to pay you fine. Yeah. Well, it speaks well of you. You must be a pretty good guy. Yeah. Yes. I know you treat your son well. Yeah. Be careful. Someday he's going to be a fed. <laughs> you better pay your taxes. He'll be, he'll be after you, right? Yeah. You're going you're gonna to show any favoritism when you become an FBI guy? You can't. No. All right, good. <laughs> good luck to you. Someday we wish to see you as an FBI man, okay? Okay, good. You got a great family. I thank you. You're a lucky guy. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Come on. How cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow. Your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtinprovidence.com. Click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.